Hi class. Um, so today, as you can see, we have been learning about the digestive system. Um, so there's a couple optional activities to do, as you saw um, throughout the PowerPoint. Um, even though they're optional, um, I wanted to make a video for one of them. So um, if you're able to do this um, on your own, great. Um, but either way, I will show you uh, what the process uh, looks like. So I'm going to go over the bread and bread in a bag activity. Um, this is a very simple way to show um, the entire process of digestion. So all you need is a piece of bread, a Ziploc bag, and then some water. And yes, I have a beaker mug <laughs> in my house. So that's coming in quite handy. I am a science teacher even at home. Um, all right, so the first step, right, you can see in the procedure in the PowerPoint, is you simply just need to tear the piece of bread in half, maybe save the other half for later. And then I'm going to tear the half a piece into smaller pieces um, and put them, in, put them into the Ziploc bag. Um, so when I'm tearing them into smaller pieces, what does that represent in the digestive system? What do you think? All right. So I have all the pieces. You can tear them up as big or small as you want. Okay. The next step is to pour water into the bag. Doesn't really ma matter the amount either, just as long as the bread gets nice and wet. Going to close the bag. What would pouring the water in the bag represent? Okay, we can maybe let it sit for a little bit. We can swish it around a little bit. Make it get nice and gross. Hopefully the bag doesn't leak. So now we are here. Okay, next step. We simply want to drain the water out. This might be a little bit hard. Drain the water. I'm just gonna use the same beaker I was using before. Right. Might not be able to drain all of the water out. You can see, I'm left with just the bread and have the extra water. What would that represent? Draining out the water in the digestive system. And then our last step would simply be to get rid of the water and then also to throw away the contents in a bag. By throwing that away, what would that represent? All right, so if you need to stop the video and think about that entire process um, and just thinking about what each of those steps would actually represent in the digestive system, you can go ahead and pause the video and then think about that for a few minutes. All right, I'm going to assume that you pause the video just as the good students that you are. Um, so. We'll just run through quickly what each um, step would actually represent in the digestive system. So in the very beginning, um, I tore the piece of bread in half and then I started tearing the bread into smaller pieces and putting it into the bag. So what that step could represent is when you first put something into your mouth, we use our teeth, um, we are starting the process of digestion uh, right when we put something into our mouth. So we're actually starting with mechanical digestion um, by using our teeth, by um, chewing and grinding up our food um, into smaller pieces. So just as I did when I was tearing the pieces up. Um, so mechanical digestion starts right away from our teeth. Also, um, small amounts of chemical digestion also start taking place because of your saliva. So as soon as your saliva mix in, that also starts um, as well. Putting the pieces in the bag could represent that once you've chewed and swallowed, 
the food makes its way down to your stomach. So the bag itself would represent um, our stomach. Now, when I added the water, that could represent a few different things. It could again first represent the saliva being mixed in. Um, so remember saliva is part of chemical or one of the first steps of chemical digestion. You actually have um, an enzyme called amylase in your saliva and that starts the breakdown of starches into sugars. So it helps break down carbohydrates um, that you're eating. Once it reaches your stomach, um, it also mixes in with other types of enzymes that helps break down the food into other um, or into nutrients uh, or separates the nutrients. And then it also mixes with hydrochloric acid in your stomach as well to help break down and help process the food. So the water, adding the water to the bag could also represent the enzymes and the hydrochloric acid in your stomach. When I was mixing the contents and kind of squishing the contents around in the bag with the water included, that could also just represent your stomach as a whole because your stomach is um, essentially just a muscular bag um, that uses um, contractions to help um, break down the food even further through mechanical digestion um, and pushes the food um, further down into your stomach and then eventually into your intestines. Uh, the last part of that, then we started, um, I drained the water out and then simply threw the bag um, away. So that could represent um, once we've gone through the entire digestive process, that could represent um, us eliminating waste from our body. So the water could um, represent the processes we go through in our urinary system, and then also us completely um, getting rid of any extra waste um, in the final process. So um, I hope you're able to try that at home. Um, if not, no worries, but I hope you had fun.